Hi everyone, this is Military Weapons, and today's video we're discussing the Boeing X-51 Wave Rider. Let's get started. The Boeing X-51 Wave Rider is an unmanned research scramjet experimental aircraft for hypersonic flight at 5,300 kilometers per hour and an altitude of 21,000 meters. The aircraft was designated X-51 in 2005. It completed its first powered hypersonic flight on May 26, 2010. After two unsuccessful test flights, the X-51 completed a flight of over 6 minutes and reached speeds of over Mach 5 for 210 seconds on May 1, 2013, the longest duration powered hypersonic flight. WaveRider refers in general to aircraft that take advantage of compression lift produced by their own shockwaves. The X-51 program was a cooperative effort by the United States Air Force, DARPA, NASA, Boeing, and Pratt & Whitney rocket dive. The program was managed by the Aerospace Systems Directorate within the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory. Mission The experimental X-51A Wave Rider is an unmanned autonomous supersonic combustion ramjet-powered hypersonic flight test demonstrator for the U.S. Air Force. Features the X-51A is designed to be launched from an airborne B-52 Stratofortress bomber. The flight test vehicle stack is approximately 7.62 meters long and includes a modified solid rocket booster from an Army tactical missile, a connecting interstage, and the X-51A cruiser. The nearly wingless cruiser is designed to ride its own shockwave, thus the nickname Wave Rider. This distinctive shark-nosed cruiser has small controllable fins and houses the heart of the system, an SJY-61 supersonic combustion ramjet or scramjet engine built by Pratt & Whitney Rocketdyne, designed to burn JP-7 jet fuel. Boeing's Phantom Works performed overall air vehicle design, assembly and testing of the X-51's various component systems. The X-51 was made primarily using standard aerospace materials, such as aluminium, steel, inconel, and titanium. Some carbon-carbon composites of the leading edges of fins and cowls are used. For thermal protection, the vehicle utilizes a Boeing-designed silica-based thermal protection system, as well as Boeing reusable insulation tiles, similar to those on board the NASA Space Shuttle orbiters. Four X-51As were built for the Air Force. The X-51A program is a technology demonstrator and was not designed to be a prototype for weapon system. It was designed to pave the way for future hypersonic weapons, hypersonic intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, and future access to space. Since scramjets are able to burn atmospheric oxygen, they don't need to carry large fuel tanks containing oxidizer like conventional rockets and are being explored as a way to more efficiently launch payloads into orbit. In addition to scalable scramjet propulsion, other key technologies that will be demonstrated by the X-51A include thermal protection systems materials, airframe and engine integration, and high-speed stability and control. Specifications Crew No Length 7.62 meters. Empty weight 1,814 kilograms. Power plant 1 MGM 140 A Tacoms rocket booster. Power plant 1 Pratt and Whitney Rocketdyne SJY 61 scramjet. Performance Maximum speed 6,200 kilometers per hour. Maximum speed Mach 5.1. Range 740 kilometers 400 nautical miles. Service ceiling 21,300 meters. Let us know your thoughts on the Boeing X-51 Wave Rider in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.